I just did a great outtake. I, hello out there in YouTube land. I didn't have the camera on video and getting dumber and dumber every day. That wasn't a good move. Anyhow, this is kind of a, I worked on it for about an hour yesterday. I just kind of taking it easy. We're getting cleaned up. I'm gonna walk you through it in a little bit, show you my plans. And it's kind of plans are changing as they go along. So um, I'll show you what I got going on. But first of all, I need, I need some help. Need some serious help. Come out this morning. Come out this morning and look at. Look at that. There are two. Two tree turtles here. Now I don't know where they came from exactly. I got a pretty good idea. Anyhow, I was watching. Um, I don't know that I'm in the screen. Maybe I'll move it back. It's fun being in the screen. Then you can annoy people more. Uh, you're on a little bit of an angle because the ground's so messed up here. I think I might be able to get in there. Anyhow, where we're at, what I need help with is... Well, I'll come back to that in a second. Lost my train of thought. It derailed. I was watching Mark and Eddie up at Bus Motor Productions yeah, oh, two or three days ago. And they found one of these or they cut one of these off a tree and they named it John. So I need help naming this tree turtle and these, this tree turtle here. Now, I, I don't know what I should name them. I got a pretty good idea, but I need you guys to help me figure out what to name these two guys. They're pretty good handsome guys, aren't they? I don't know which one's smarter. This one looks a little short and rough. This one's a little tall and smooth. There isn't no, no bark on, on this tree turtle. These are tree turtles, they're not post turtles, there's a difference. Um, anyhow, getting back to my plans here. Yeah, you're gonna have to help me name those two guys. I wonder what I could name those two tree turtles. Come up with a name down there. Two names. Here's what I got. I'm gonna have to take you off the stand. I've cut this one up here into, you can see my, I've already marked it off in firewood length so I don't have an oddball at the end when I get there. And same with, same with this one here. My plan is to come in and get this one, roll it back, come in and get this one, roll it back, and take them down to where basically the uh, wood splitter is. Then I hope to come over here and get this one first and this one second. Drop this one here off at the wood splitter area for cutting up. Take this one back to the sawmill. If, if all goes as planned, I'm going to put a sawmill video on today after this one here. What I want out of this is a 14 by, um, 14 by 16 inch, 3 foot long chunk. But as you can see, I'm getting into something here which means it's into this piece also. So I don't know where I'm going to get at and there's, there's another, can you see the the big mess down there and so I don't know what I'm going to get into it it's also a banana log you guys can't really see the banana in it too much but I'm figuring I only need a three foot piece it off of it so I might be able to sneak that out of one side of it without it just cut cut a um, uh, ironing board out of one side of it heavy and leave bark on this side I need it this long to get between the head blocks um, so that's that's a problem but you never know what you're going to get into when you get into stuff so i cut this this limb off here because that was just in the way but i don't know how good this log is going to be i didn't think it was going to be that great to begin with see how you know that's that's probably a foot in there and it's a pretty big hollow cavity in there so i don't know what i'm going to get get there then as you come down here we got another tree turtle down here guys see that one there might have to have a tree turtle family then over here okay I'm gonna cut this in half here and hopefully pick this one up and this one up that puts them at around 10 foot so I can get through the woods I gotta go through a 10 foot fence but the machine can lift up over it so I'm not too worried about that so that's the plan get this out of this way I still have my wire that I once again was being stupid is underneath here and I hope it's not 
too mashed up but I'm gonna get that another thing that I, I didn't really plan on I gotta go over the other side it's like like you make a plan and then you do something then and then it just doesn't work out all the times or you you find you didn't make the right decision um, what this this log down here the butt end of that log was off the um, off the ground or well, when I cut this off the log went and teeter-tottered down what I wanted to do was I was just going to come in here with the forks and cut cut this off because I'm cutting it off at eight and a half foot that I don't once again kind of don't think it's going to be all that great of a log it's going to be a big one because see it's got double hard you can see in, in the piece that I cut off it's got a, a rotted heart here and then another heart here so I don't know I, I'm sure you're going to get some some good wood out of it I don't know and then the big piece like I said banana log if I cut the end of the banana off then you got the tree turtle there then you got a lightning strike going up the side anyhow that's where I'm at so I'm gonna go ahead you can I'm gonna put you on the stand give you a couple more minutes of hopefully picking this log up I'm not a good operator the grapple as you as you saw on a show I don't know two or three shows ago maybe I broke it being stupid when you my old saying is you got to pay to be stupid so I, I busted both hydraulic lines on it so I just got to um, get them fixed but I don't feel like it so I, I wouldn't normally I wouldn't use the grapple in this anyway so let me see if I can get these you, you might find a good uh, what not to do video on this or I might get lucky because I'm not a very good equipment operator but who knows that thing will probably roll out to where I can't get it and frustrate me but you're gonna watch what I get here we go <laughs> sticks but not too bad uh, I really didn't want to take that down there but I think I might be able to get in there with that uh, foot it's gonna say chainsaw a little electric one this will go down to the next year's wood pile for cutting up that cleared out a big area um I had to put in skid steer that that thing the wheels turn on it but I had to put in skid steer to slide the piece down because I wasn't a good enough operator to line the two up and see how much if this was in skid steer see how much mud it turns up real quick 
a skid steer skidding in here would just have this tore up but you don't see any marks where I've been around it just it just doesn't leave any marks that's why I got that I can get in here and, and move around so I'm gonna take this down and, and dump it and then I'm gonna come up and my plan is to get that to the sawmill get that to the wood and get the other two out of here and uh, that's my plan for today I got to go up and get gas I ran out of chainsaw gas I have to go up Pennsylvania and get that because they have gas that doesn't have this stupid ethanol in it I, I don't know I don't know what's wrong with people they they never mind won't even go there anyhow um, anyhow uh, you guys got to, got to help me out on We got to name these two guys, name these two guys. And um, if you would, I'd appreciate it. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And hopefully I'm going to have a sawmill video on right after this one. I'll dump two on tonight because I don't know how to edit them and put them together. So hopefully we'll try to see if we can get a 16 by 14. I guess they call it a can. I don't know why they, they don't call it a can. Can, I don't know. Anyhow, hit me the like button, hit me the subscribe button. If you don't like it, send it to somebody who don't like it and annoy the heck out of them. We'll see you uh, hopefully later this afternoon. Bye.